Welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the M53 M55, the Tier 9 American SPG. It's located on the south spawn of Erlenburg, and this one is under the command of Provo Bob. Now, Bob is in Australia, and at this moment, there are bushfires raging all across the country in uh, the southwest, southeast corner of the country. And so do spare a thought for uh, all those Australians struggling to uh, fight the fires. Bob's been telling us about the heat wave as well they're having over there. And it is absolutely awful. It's blisteringly hot. I mean, they're getting more heat in Australia than they normally get in Saudi Arabia. Yes, it's that hot, you know, it's really desert hot. But uh, Australians can handle it, they're tough stuff. And of course, Australia is one of the few places, well, it is the place where they made the first commercial refrigerator. Yes, that's the fact. That's, the, that's where they first built it. And uh, other people actually came up with refrigerators beforehand, but the first commercial one, the Australians came up with it. No wonder. Okay, he's got a lovely number of targets there. From this position, further over, you can get shots right up that road. Very useful for engaging the enemy if they're coming down that one. This is a standard battle. Now, he's got the 18-inch howitzer here, which is 203 millimeters. And you can do 1,050 alpha, penetrating 52 millimeters of armor. But a lot of the tanks he's firing against are... Well, I've got a lot of armor. That scorpion doesn't, though. Ah, he just whacked it for 515. That was a good hit. A nice solid... Nope, you're not going through that gate. I won't let you. Now, the M55, which is what he's actually driving at the moment, it's the one used by the US Army. And they used this uh, RT in Vietnam, and it was air transportable as well. He's got a fairly long reload. If I remember correctly, it's around about the 35 seconds. Yep, 32, 33. Oh, we hit two with one there. He hit the Supercock and the ST1 as well. So he's racking up quite a lot of damage already. He's up to 1.8k, closer to 1.9. If the enemy stay where they are, oh, we just lost, just lost our ISM, but he did take out that Scorpion G before he got hit. This is a tier 10 game, by the way. That was close. Just zipped over the ST1, landed to one side of him, tracked him. He must have got some hit points off that one. And the Indian Panzer's moving ahead, and our Object 260 is trying to hold him back. Okay, any second now, the Indian Panzer is going to get hit. Lovely, beautiful, got a kill. I think that might have been a penetrating shot, that one. A bit further up the road, we've got a Conqueror. That ST1 is a super conk, but he's actually in that channel. I don't think we can get a shot in there. We could definitely hit that ST1. Okay, Conqueror is going to engage the 260 now. And so we'll help the 260 by stunning him. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, we've had to fire and we hit the Conqueror in the turret. But we did stun our Object 260 teammate there. I think he had to shoot there because otherwise the Conqueror was going to have an advantage. And now he's handed the advantage to the Object 260, which means he's probably going to get the kill on that Conqueror. I say probably because he's having a good ding dong with him. They're even getting ram damage off each other. Oh, and the Object 260 goes down. But we can see... The Provo Bob's about to shoot and fires the round in, kills the Conqueror. So instant revenge. 
surprisingly with all this battle going on and 2.8k of damage they've only got one tank up on the enemy okay he's going for the st1 not loaded yet but he's side scraping on that corner trying to get on our Jaegeru well he's about to get a bit of a wake up I think the Jaegeru yeah he's indicating that he's going to target the ST1 Jaegeru knows this any second rounds out oh hits the building well the enemy just lost their supercock That's the first bit of bad RNG apart from the other shot that he had on the ST1 earlier. He's trying to tempt them to come around that corner, that ST1. Trouble is now the T10's in the way. And the Jaegeru gets the kill. So we're now three tanks up on the enemy. Well, over there they've got a mutant. An M6A2E1. Rounds out. Splash for 180. He's cured his stun straight away. Oh, he's not going to last very long, that guy. No, he's gone. Which means that we're starting to run short on enemies to shoot at. Which is quite a nice situation to be in. And they've spotted a Yang Panther 2 up the other end of the map. Lining up a shot. Long flight time for the shell. Direct hit! 513 hit the crew compartment. That was an excellent shot. Right on the money. Okay, searching around for another target. He's found one. Back chat, 25 tonne. AP. Now that's the tier 9 one. I confused that for the tier 10 one the other day in a replay. It was pointed out to me after the battle. <laughs> yes, I goofed up. Well, I'm fallible. Okay, T26E5 Patriots. Now he's going to stay there behind that rock. He doesn't want to come out. He's going very, very defensive. I think this is time to actually splash him and try and get some splash damage off him. That might make him move away. Some, sometimes the trick is actually to go above and look at it from above and see exactly where he's moving and when he gets close. Well, Provo Bob's decided he's going to move over to a bit further to the west to get shots on that T26 and I don't blame him because uh, it's a difficult shot from this angle but it's a lot easier like this okay dialing in he came around that corner almost fully I see Jaegeru and him there Oh, enemy artist has been spotted. He'll go on the Jaeger route and it's direct hit on him and it splashed the Patriot at the same time. The Jaeger route is looking at our Scorpion who's hiding on the ridge line. Of course, our Emil 1 doesn't really want to come around that corner because he knows the Jaeger route could swat him with one shot. But we're going to get another hit on the Jaegeru for sure. And that could be a kill shot. Oh, he just took down our Scorpion. But can we get, can we get a kill? Yes! Overwhelmed his armour. That just leaves the T26 E5 Patriot. And one quick shot is enough to take him out. Will he platoon? He's platoon with the T10. Did it connect? Let's have a look in the end of battle stats. 
And yes, he did. He managed to get it at the last moment. He got a second class tanker in that game in the M53, M55 Provo Bob. And he also managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 17. He got a gauze medal for doing more damage than eight times the hit points of his own vehicle. A brothers in arms because he platooned at the last second with the T10. They both had three kills. And he also managed to get a confederate as well for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. At least six tanks subsequently taken out by other teammates. And his win eight from that game was 6,246, which is very, very good in a tier nine RT. So let's have a look at team score. Well, there you go. Highest damage, 4,266 hit points of damage in that game. Next highest score was the T10 who got the Brubs in Arms. He got 3383. And after that, it was the Bat Chat 25 ton AP on the enemy team with 3,100. 30, when it came to kills, it was the T10. He got four kills in that game, whereas Prevo Bob managed to get three, so that earned them the Brothers in Arms, and then nobody else managed to get above two kills. And when it came to base XP, it was the T10 again with 1,059 base experience points. Prevo Bob managed 904, and the Strid S1 managed to get 889. He fired 12 rounds, got 9 direct hits, no penetrations, but 15 splash. Damage of 4,266 hit points, all of it was at more than 300 meters. He hit 9 of the enemy, killed 3, that's why he earned the Confederate. And he caused 11 stuns during that game, but didn't pick up a bit of stun assist, which is surprising. 45,956 credits on a premium account, got 15,165 for the holiday ops, and his total came to 61,121 credits. And after resupply of ammunition and consumables, took away 18,681 credits. Yes, these shells are rather expensive, but it was the consumables that actually cost him so much. He also picked up six bonds for the battle, tier 10, and uh, for the awards rather, and 1,356 XP from the game, 8,136 from the Holiday Ops, 9,492 experience points altogether. So very satisfying that they platooned at the last second. Normally that doesn't work for most people. You try and hit the button in time, unfortunately it just doesn't work. And I think that Provo Bob made the invitation whilst, uh, just after he hit the Jaeger and killed the Jaeger, and the T10 was able to hit the receive button and connect to um, effect it just in time. Because normally nowadays there's not enough time. More gaming has basically stopped people from getting a brothers in arms by platooning at the last second of the game. But this time it worked. So well done. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.